on low tier or something like this or an Arcadian. Um, so protagonist, he just wants to witness. He decides he's gonna go Fox. Um, he, he's kind of one of these players. He's a middle player, you know. He's rank number eleven, but he has a chance here to just outright win um, against Bark and get himself in the winner semis while putting Bark in a, a low position in the bracket. So he goes Fox, takes the first stock. Uh, mostly on a failed edge guard by Bark. Uh, Mario is not bad in this matchup, um, and even though Prince protagonist is using his best character, Bark's Mario is like not super well refined but it's still going to be good enough that he should get some decent edge guards even though protagonist is fairly hard edge guard uh, and he shouldn't be too hard with like getting certain approaches in and Bark's just a really good spacing player um, but great down smash for protagonist with a two-stock lead he's uh if he can take this he's gonna either force uh bark to, to have a character change and win and then put himself in a very vulnerable position a vulnerable position for um the winner side of the bracket or he's gonna just beat out bark and you know, he's gonna, he's gonna put Bark on the losers. Bark's gonna try to make a, a loser's bracket run. So this is exciting. It's, it, it definitely adds some more thinking and strategy to typical tournaments. So protagonist can get back from here. Fox actually is deceptively good recovery, but uh, Bark reads that well with an easy up smash. Uh, it's kind of hard. Mario's up smash is huge. He has an invincible head. So with Fox, you need to get to that platform and just avoid the up smash entirely. Because if you try to weave around to get to this black plat, you're still likely that you could get hit by that out smash. So, um, we saw Bark get that pretty good. Oh, so it's a trade that's very much in Bark's favor. He's going to edge hog, and Bark ties it back up. So he's down 5-3. to three. He's now tied up 3-3. Three, three. Uh, he's got good edge guards with Mario. Um, and you know, Mario's, just a, Mario's just a good character. He's not like a super amazing character, but he's not bad. He's got a, he's like a, just a well-rounded character, so... Um, if you can just space well, you can, you can do well when we see Bark holding his own with Mario against Protagonist. Yeah, we've seen, also we saw Dark Horse lose to, um, lose to somebody, I can't remember who it was, Mr. Noob, some new guy we never had before, this is the first time he's ended it. Oh, good edge guard by Bark, so he actually takes a stock lead. So Protagonist uh, going all in on his best character, trying to just... Uh, steal the set against Bark. It's not in his favor right now. He's down, down a stock. He looks strong in the first two, but he's a oh, back throw should kill. And it does. All right. Um, so tied up two stocks apiece. Protagonist needs to play safe here. He doesn't have much Mario experience. He has a lot of Pika experience. He has a lot of Falcon experience. Oh, and he, great job by Protagonist to get back up and get saved by that up B, but that's gonna kill him. All right. So Bark now a stock lead. Um, it's going to be really interesting if, if Protagonist loses this because he's, he's he's either down Fox and he has to switch characters or um, he goes goes Fox and tries to win it again. But great down here by, by Bark. Great edge guarding and great spacing. Yeah, Mario's got some good hitboxes. His forward air, his down air, his back air, up air. They're all pretty good. Uh, up air is the fastest up air in the game. But that's what Mario has. Um, his projectiles are good. So is Protagonist going to try to just adapt here? Yep, he is. So he figured I've already gone in on Fox. I'm not wasting another character. If I lose this, I have to get in a loser's bracket. Uh, and I need my other characters to win through that. Um, and I, he's, just a, he's just a confident Fox player. I mean, it's, it's, it's his main. He's, he uses it all the time, regardless of the matchup. Oh, it's going to be tough for Giants to get back. He does get the trade. And that so we require an edge guard by Bark. And Bark gets the edge guard. All right. This is, uh, this is a good job by Bark edge guarding, guarding Fox. He's gotten really good at edge guarding LD's Fox with Pika. So, um, using a new character, it's a little bit different, but good up B. It's a combo breaker that Mario has. It comes out in the first frame. He's got invincibility frames like two through seven or something. Uh, I don't know the exact frame data. You can go to framedisplay.onlinessb.com if you want to know the exact frame details. But it does come out in the first frame, so it, it, it breaks combos very well. All you need to do is just have a single frame input. Good dash check. He's got Hedgehog. Just Hedgehog. Protagonist uh, goes for the down smash. Nice. No, good Hedgehog. Down smash is pretty good. Fox has invincible feet. It's got good range, but it's not um, it's not guaranteed to edge guard Mario. The Mario Bros. They they can reach from really low. Um, they get good distance. Oh, good job, good job back here there by protagonist. So he takes the next stock. Eats the fireball. It's no big deal. It's only a few percentage points worth the stock to take. So Protagonist does play pretty patient when he, when he needs to. He'll do lasers, try to get a read on his opponent, wait for the approach that he wants. We're learning a lot under LD. Uh, definitely lasers more than LD does, but he got an easy because uh, he can't dominate the neutral as well, even though he does a pretty good job. Good back here. 
Savage the Hedgehog. Ugh. Down tilt's also a good option for Fox against Mario. Uh, Fox doesn't have a hurt box on his down tilt. Like his body has a hurt box, but his actual move, the down tilt, doesn't have uh, a hurt box like with his tail. So he can just, and it has, he has incredible range. It's like almost, I think it's the full length of a platform side plat. Good forward tilt, you just go to Hedgehog. Oh, he doesn't need to. Bark has no way to get back. So protecting this back up a stock. Um, so downhill, down tilt for Fox, it's like one of the best down tilts in the game. It hits really, really far. It doesn't have a hurt box, so it's disjointed. And it reaches below the platform, or below the stage. So it gets characters that are trying to get underneath. It like hooks them back up, and it pops them in a position where you can like forward air or shine. Uh, so it's great against like Falcon and Samai, Samuses. Um, Bark gets that edge guard. Pretty easy. Mario can get really far out. He's got some good speed. Good back airs. Uh, he's done a good job on the stocks. He only took an 11% damage. That was scary though. If you got grabbed there, that was a that was really scary for a protagonist. Bark's done such a good job edge guarding with Mario that you just can't let yourself get grabbed. Yep, that's it. So let's see what he does. Yeah, good near. Yeah, Bark's just been amazing with these edge guards. Um, he does a better job of edge guarding protagonist with Mario than he does with Pika. Maybe he has to, he has to, he has to become Mario, man. Hundred and thirty-four percent damage. This is a very high amount for, for Mario. Good jab out smash. All right, protagonist brings it back down to two stocks. He can still take this game. He needs to take this game. I mean, he can either force Bark to change characters. Um, which, you know, that's that'll be. I mean, if he has to, he has to win the game anyway. If he wants to, if he wants to stay in winners. But um, him even taking oh, that's great fastball down here. Um, but if he can take this game, he might even be able to get Bark to switch characters, which um, he might lose because of that. But at least it does more for the bracket, which means you have to play Bark in losers um, finals or so, loser semis. Imagine if he gets in there, then you don't have to worry about like a Pika or something. Good job on Smash. It doesn't kill. Mario's a little bit heavier than like Pika and Kirby. Um, that down pair's not going to kill either. That was just a single hit. Oh, that was his chance. He needed to just stab him smash that. Shine those, you should shine those fireballs, you're, you're Fox, shine the fireballs. And this should be an, an easy edge guard for Bark. Yeah, that's it. So Bark takes it 2-0. Um, protagonist is frustrated, he lost his Fox.